Uh, like that one? Yeah. Like, you have, have you ever had one of those moments where you realize, like, your wife's family is much smarter than your family? Okay. I have a two-year-old, and when he was born, I painted a dinosaur mural. So we ended up getting... Um, Stand up. <laughs> Come on, do it. Do it right if you're gonna do it. Do it right if you're gonna do it. So uh, I ended up getting all these dinosaur gifts after I painted the dinosaur mural, where we get like dinosaur bibs and dinosaur shirts. Let's just say like Jessica's family that all went to University of Michigan and are science majors, they buy him dinosaurs. My family, which is seven generations of Ohio State communication majors. <laughs> They buy him dragons, and they believe it's a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> this, is a this is a gift from my mother-in-law. This is a gift from my dad. That's a gift from my dad. We call that a Baranosaurus. <laughs> my brother bought him one last week. That's a fucking walrus <laughs> that my brother thought was a dinosaur. That's burning. Yeah. <laughs> But then talk about how like the differences work out in my favor. Like my family's more fun. I remember going to one of her weddings where they didn't like the wedding DJ, so the way they voiced their disapproval of it is they wrote a limerick about the entire experience and then they performed it. Like that's how smart they are. They know these ancient rhyme schemes. Like my family was at a wedding on the west side of Cleveland where we were so hammered the bar cut us off. <laughs> like what my godfather, my uncle Mark did is his sign of a protest. He took a shit in the urinal. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we do yeah. <laughs> That's how Ohio State does protest. <laughs> it was funny too, because like he still talked like an uncle. Like I remember walking in, he's got his pants in the air. <laughs> And he's like, Sean, they cut us off, but I'm getting us back. <laughs> and then he finished, and he talked to me like an uncle. He's like, she's still living in Chicago? <laughs> you know, like, right in the face. Like, like, just finished shitting in a urinal. Like, you know, what's a beer cost up there? <laughs> James, members of last night? Oh. But, yeah. uh, it was funny, because like, he wanted to drive home. And like, we wouldn't let them, which is always funny because like in my family they always have these situations where maybe you see them like where they're like, uh, like I'm going to drive home, no you're too drunk, I'm driving, you're too drunk, I'm driving there, well then I'm following you. <laughs> <laughs> which I always think is a great plan, you know. <laughs> but luckily like my Uncle Pete drove him home, I don't know if my Uncle Pete actually was any more sober, he probably wasn't, my Uncle Pete just never gets a DUI, he was the guy I was telling you about earlier. Whenever he gets pulled over in Cleveland, Ohio, he tells him he's a priest. And uh, it's a very Catholic town, never gets in. Now, I know, and like, that might seem odd. You'd be like, well, that would never work. Like, they would have software or something. But what you have to understand is, two more, he actually goes into the DMV in a priest outfit. This is his license here. his license as a priest. Is that real? Yes. You made me laugh one more goddamn time. He pretty much like talks in Latin. He actually uses a fake Irish accent like to sound like a priest like. Oh, I, you want to know how good it is? This is how good, this is how good though that license is what he can talk. He actually one time made the local newspaper. He drove a moving van into a bridge. This is the newspaper. He drove a moving van into a bridge at 50 miles an hour and was able to talk his way out. The headline is Genius Hits Bridge. <laughs> and he was able to talk his way out of it. Um, so I'll tell.